electrostatic induction. Now, when we say electrostatic induction, then that means we are going to do induce electric charges onto substances. Now, what we see here are two insulated conductors. Now, we have the metal sphere A and B. Now, what is going to happen is, initially, these two metals are not charged. Now, what we do is that we bring a charged metal rod or polythene rod, and then we put these two metals together. Now, all the positive charges are going to move to one end, and all negative charges will be deflected to the other end. Now, the reason is simple. Unlike charges will attract, like charges will repel. Therefore, when we put them together, now they are going to act as one body. Now, all positive charges will move from B into A and then will form on one side. All negative charges will move from A into B and then will form on the opposite side because the negative charges are repelling them and then the negative charges are attracting the positive charges. Now, with the charged polythene rod still in place, then we separate the two spheres. Now, after separating them, if we take the charged polythene rod away, what is going to happen is that A is going to obtain only positive charges and then B is going to obtain only negative charges. A is positive because all electrons have left A. B is negative because B has obtained almost all the electrons needed or required.